Hey, 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 we got Doggy Diamonds on the line right now. Yes, sir, I'm here. Salute, salute, done with up. Hey, What's going on? What's going on, man? It's me, Wing, and Henny right now. What's going on, though, man? How you, bro? I'm chilling, man. You know, working as usual, doing what I do. Work don't never stop. I see that. A lot of politics going on in battle rap right now. I know you see it, too, just like me. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's it's kind of horrible a little bit to me, man. Like, um, I think it's too many battle rap leagues, for one. Um, And then it's not a lot of premier leagues. It's just leagues. And then I think that takes away from the overall – I hate using the word culture because the word culture is – being used too much, and I don't think people know what culture really means, you know. Give me a favor, break it down. I would love to hear this from your perspective. I mean, anytime you're dealing with culture, it's always come from a grassroots. Um, that means like the beginning. You know, it's, it's how you walk, it's how you talk, it's how you dress, it's your lifestyle. That's what culture is, and you just hear everybody saying battle rap culture. But how could somebody be a from battle rap culture, like Snoop Dogg, how can he be from battle rap culture? He's not mm -hmm. for the culture. He's for a K day. He's for trying to stay relevant, in my opinion. Yeah, he give people opportunities, I guess, to battle. You know, he got people on BET. Great. But I see niggas bragging because Snoop Dogg gave them slippers and shit. I was like, he gave you slippers? So are you a battle rapper or are you an artist? Because for me, I want a fucking record deal. That's just me. So if somebody's not going to give me a record deal or help me you know, advance further, I guess BET is the limit, I guess. Because look at it like this. Niggas was on BET. Congratulations to all of them. But they went from BET to going home. <laughs> you know, and then after the BET awards, motherfuckers is in the house just like us. But you, so, know what, like, but, but you know what, doggy? To be, I don't, know, I don't mean to cut you off, but what about the branding? You don't think like that maybe some of them could have, could have got some kind of side deal out of it? You don't think? Who got branded though? Mook was Mook is already Mook. Sure. He was the only one that really showed up. The who who was the um the white kid that rapped? Uh, one of the ciphers. Uh, Sharon. Sharon? Horrible. Uh, horrible. <laughs> You thought he was horrible? I heard horrible. That. <laughs> I heard you on that. national TV, and you're not prepared to show your ass. First of all, you're on black entertainment television, and you're a white kid on the BET Awards in a fucking cypher. I don't even know what beat he heard. It's like he was rhyming a fucking uh, EDM or some shit like that. So that pissed me off automatically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Brandon... Brandon is when you you take a name and you say that shit over and over till it becomes a household name, to where people see it. McDonald's is branded. You know the Golden Arches, Burger King. You know the Crown or that King. That's what Brandon is. When you think of certain battle rappers, there is no branding. Mm. Only time they're branded is when they might say it's Showtime. Zip them up. That's the brand. But where is the merchandise. Oh, no, no. Not, not the actual Exactly, because it, it, when you say their name, what do you identify them with? First of all, these niggas be losing too much. That's Agreed. first and foremost. Sometimes they can have on a great a great performance, and, you know, these, these new battle rap fans are quick to anoint them as the next one, the greatest one. Can't nobody fuck with them, and then they lose the very next battle. Uh, you're right. You know? So it's like... Who's really unbeatable? Anybody can lose on any night. But if you're prepared, you're never supposed to lose. It's not like battling. Battling back in the days was, I'm going, I'm from Clinton Hill, Best Star area. I'm going to Brownsville to check my man. And my man always talk about this kid such and such is nice. I want to see that nigga. I got some balls for him. That's what battling was. These niggas get months to prepare for people. And, and put on a horrible show or kick with cycle rhymes. You got months to prepare? I totally agree. You know, so I think Battle Rap, um, I was fucking with Battle Rap before it was cool. Let's just say that. 
I kind of strayed away from battle rap a little bit because I don't like the business of how niggas handle their business. I think niggas is corny, and niggas go for anybody who give them a look. They jump in front of these cameras. You got a nigga who call himself a battle rap journalist. I don't even know what the fuck that is. And it's just niggas just gossiping about each other. You know, if you're going to do a blog and talk it, I'll kill you. When you get on that stage, kill a nigga. Kill I don't, where, Where's the killing at? Niggas go, I'll kill you. And then niggas is losing. Damn. Choke it. You think if Floyd Mayweather blood? loses, listen, Floyd Mayweather loses, it, it's kind of over for him. So mm-hmm. how you talking all this killing shit and you lost? It's like, Surf, I think Surf beat Hollow. That's just my opinion. Surf beat Hollow. So why did Hollow and Luck still battle after that? You know? And then Surf is coming off this win against Hollow, just my opinion. And then he loses against Clips badly. <laughs> so it's like, what are we watching here? Like, who who is really top tier? Who's elite? Only person that we can arguably say never really lost is a mook. Because that's all debatable. Not in the new Smack era, he didn't lose yet. It was just mook. Just mook. Everybody else took a loss. That's true. You know, on on the DVDs, we might say Sirius could have took it, Party Artie could have took it. See, because the new battle, yeah, the battle rap fans, they don't know about none of that. Well, let me know about all of that. Go ahead. Let me ask you a question. Are the new battle rap fans, right, you keep saying new battle rap fans, and I agree with you, is that messing the sport up or helping it? Um, well, it's like anything that people, you have to do your research on everything if you mm-hmm. want to. If you love something, you have to do your For example, before I started doing interviews, I was a big fan of Video Music Box. So if you're from the Tri-State area, you know who Ralph McDaniels is. He was who started interviews. Uh, all the all the Rap City shows and all that shit copy Video Music Box. So I studied somebody who I aspire to be like. You know, I studied the game. If you want to be a producer, you can't just get an 808, a kick, in a sense, and say, I'm a producer. No, you have to listen to people. So you have new battle rap fans who see one battler and they don't know about leagues like the Lions Den where mm-hmm. niggas are really in the street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't know about shit like that. They don't know about um, Sia Castro and Jay Mills. They don't know about Hollow Man and E. Ness. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't know about a lot of these things that before it was cool and, and we, the Philly kids, Going all over battle and niggas kaboom, read dollars and eights. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. niggas is really, really battling. Hey, question, question. Exactly. A, a tweeter just said it's easy to go undefeated when you only battle once a year. What's your thoughts on that? Well, when you when you look at somebody like Mook, who is he supposed to battle? Who's worthy to battle? Him? I guess that would be the question right now, right? Mook is a top nigga. It's not even about who we should battle with. Like, like what you said is who's worthy enough to battle him at this point. Hmm. What, what do you think, Henny? What do you think, Wayne? I, I didn't think he would beat Lux, but he beat Lux. Uh, if that was on the URL stage, could have been a different um outcome. <laughs> I didn't think that was the, the venue for them, so they did it for the money. So if Lux got to take an L to that weird-ass crowd, that's on him, but... Who is he supposed to battle? You understand what I'm saying? This is murder move. This is a legend that he could walk away. He's supposed to reach for the Drakes or bait Eminem and all that. He, who, is, who is he supposed to battle? Everybody's pretty much beneath him, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Only Man. person, only listen, I'm going to tell you something. Only person that I think is worthy to battle Mook right now is Charlie Clips. Okay. What about Hollow? Hollow didn't even battle Mook battle more than Hollow in the past few years. Hollow was in jail. How many battles Hollow got? Two and like how many years? True. Mook got at least three. Well, mm-hmm. you know he has two. He has um 
I ain't Solomon and Lux. You know what I'm saying? Hollow is fucking dope. Hollow is unpredictable, but I would want to see Hollow and Clips before I seen Hollow and Mook. You know, um, I just think Charlie Clips, if he don't want to lose, he won't lose. Honestly. Right. Dog, let me ask you. Go ahead. Let me ask you. I'm sorry about that. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this. That's been like a question that I've been asking. I don't know if you've seen in the group, but I've been asking that question forever. So if, like you said, if Hollow and Clips battle, what if Clips lost? Where does that put him with battling Mook? He got to go down to the bottom. See, that's what that's what I'm saying about battle rap. There is no real tears. Because mm-hmm. a nigga, or say, a nigga getting paid like a top tier nigga, but he on a fucking like a, a loser shit. Like, who keeps booking this nigga? Who wants to see that? Right. right. I, I think it should be like, you got the tears. When you lose, just like boxing or any other sport, you got to go down. Mm-hmm. I say, fuck it, make a nigga a PG nigga again. Make him prove himself all over again. I was trying to say I was saying that shit mad long ago, too. People thought I was bugger when I said that. Yeah. Jamona, it's like DNA. How many times? Everybody know I hate DNA. But this shit oh, is fucking lost a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The nigga lost. And I think sometimes with the relationships, it's a little biased with DNA because he's like Charlie Clip's daughter and shit. So oh, he gets looked out for. He gets looked out for off the strength of Clip's. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. But the nigga be losing. I watched B Magic serve him in the building. Serve him. Even on camera. Just like, wow. And he's still getting big battles. He's getting summer madness. He's getting gnome. And I'm like, yo, this nigga lost, man. Bring some other okay. people in. But I guess that's what the fans want to see. And y'all fans out there, y'all got to start admitting when niggas lose, man. Yeah. Oh, Fuck all this in the building and on camera. Because y'all wasn't in the building, so y'all don't know what happened in the building. <laughs> in the camera, you have something called editing. Niggas be editing out chokes sometimes. Niggas be editing out nervousness, all types of shit. So if y'all really want to get the full experience of these events, go to the fucking event. Yeah. You can't be no couch fucking analyst. You know what I'm saying? You got to yeah, at least yeah. go to the experience the atmosphere. I guarantee you, once you go to one of these events, you'll look at battle rap different. But how much time we got? Because I got some shit I want to talk about. <laughs> you got a good, um, let me see what time is it. About 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Band up, low seven. Who the hell is good? I'm alive, I'm leaving. Shot this shit. Who the hell is good? Shot this shit. Who the hell is good? Shot this shit. Who the hell is good? Shot this shit. Who the hell is good?